Good morning, everybody. My name is Jeff, and this is Pelham's Aquatics. And I'm just getting my day rolling here. Uh, it's about 9 a.m. here in Michigan right now. And uh, I've got a very uh, special day ahead of me today. I'm shipping out my best snails to Jack and Dan, fantastic gentlemen on YouTube and in life. Um, I'm really enjoying their channel and everything, and I'm trying to show some appreciation to them. Uh, by sending some of the things that I create here in my fish room. So I'm going to take you guys through the entire process of how I pack everything up and ship it out. And uh, I'll show you here. This is the container that I use uh, to ship my snails. Um, I put some uh, a thick layer of damp paper towel on the bottom. Gently place the snails on top of that, and then I put a thinner layer of damp paper towels over the top. And it will be in a box that I normally ship uh, USPS, but this is an extra special shipment, uh, and so I want it to get there a little bit sooner. And I want to make sure that everything is just so. So I'm going through UPS, and I'll show you the box here. Got this nice styrofoam insert. If you can see that, all right. The uh, once I once we select the snails, and you'll be with me for that, we'll place the uh, container in. I'll have a, maybe a thin layer of paper uh, newspaper down the bottom. Set the snails on top. Then I'll put some more newspaper over the top of this, and then I'll have a, a nice large cold pack uh, on top and because it's gonna be a scorcher here in Michigan and uh, I think in the uh, neighboring states, it's gonna be quite warm as well and I just wanna make sure everything is just so. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get started and we will do the snail selection over here together. And I hope you guys enjoy it, uh, Jack and Dan, because I certainly enjoy you guys and watching your channel and all the fun adventures you guys do it's really very enjoyable and uh so without further ado guys we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started we're gonna get these packed up and we're gonna get them shipped out and uh so let's do it okie dokie here we are at one snail tank these snails are um they're not real active at the moment uh i usually don't turn the light on until early afternoon so they're probably just kind of taking it easy here it looks like um, but normally uh, when I come down here and I show my videos you'll notice they have their antennas out whipping all over the place so I know we get some here that well he's looking really nice let's go ahead and my hands are nice and clean guys and this nice cinnamon one here looks pretty beautiful so this is one of the dark foot ones pretty good size over here is where I have the box I put the damp paper towel just gonna set him right there for a moment here we are there's that one let's see now who's next I got both tanks over here to check out I got those two nice ivory ones back there and it looks like they might be uh, in the process of yeah, they're together. I don't want to separate them. So there's two more. Beautiful snails. They're attached at the hip, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, and now I got a beautiful back there. Look at that beautiful dark foot. I'm going to reach back there and get him. Oh, yeah, sorry there, guy. You're going to a new home to Jack and Dance. And I'll be able to see you on a video sometime, I bet. So I got those guys there. I got a beautiful gold over here that uh, I really think very gently. Can you uh, release for me there? Thank you. Very nice, uh, nice large gold snail. Looks like there's a little touch of hornwort there. It's not going to hurt anything, and they might uh, maybe even munch on it on the way on their journey, but. I don't want to pull it out uh, 
and accidentally hurt him. So let's see what we got here. We got this big boy here. In fact, I think this is one I had a video not too long ago. Um, a snake. Oh, I got this horn word out. I don't know if you guys want that. So I'm going to toss it back. Had the extremely long uh, antennas that were just whipping around there. I mean, this thing is gigantic and it's beautiful. So got those guys. Let's see what else we got here for you. Got lots and lots of snails in other tanks as well. Oh, there's a beautiful one down here. It's kind of like a creamy colored ivory. Yeah, nice. On the bigger side. Let's see here. There's that. Let's continue down here. Let's see. There's a couple nice big gold ones back there, and they look nice too. I don't want to separate them either, so let's get those right back here. I tell you, I really like uh, catching snails better than fish. It's so much easier, you know. Oops, sometimes, except he's stuck on the glass, and I want to be very careful with that, with that one. Oops. So we got this guy here. You go right in there, fella. Yeah, I don't want to crowd these guys too much. I think I got room for maybe three or four more. Um, I should have gotten a bigger container. If you guys need more of these snails, you please let me know uh, after I send these and um, in that. So let's get on with this here. Yeah, he's stuck to the glass back there. I'd like to get him though. I'll come back in a second for that one. I got this beautiful striped one over here. Let's get this guy. He might release for me without uh, too much problem. Come on. Let go. Thank you. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh, <laughs> he was on top of a ram's horns now. I don't think you guys want them. They breed like crazy. And if you ever do want ram's horn snails, guys, let me know. I'll send you those as well. I got a million of them. Here. Yeah, that guy's a little on the small side. He's moving around nice. Let's see what we got. There's a good guy back there. Another nice striped. Let's get that one. Hi there. Good size, too. Good size. Whoops. And um, is that a, a little ram's horn snail? Get off there. Get off there. Okay. Here we go, and place you right here. And it looks like we got room for one more right over in this area. I don't want to. I don't want to pack them too tight. Um, let's see here. I'd love to get that big guy back there. If I can get him to release, that'll be the a nice one to finish up. Can you release for me there, big boy? Huh? gently just he does not want to release and he's really adamant about staying so sorry about that he doesn't want to go I just don't want to pull them out if they're stuck to the glass so tight you pull the shell and they can just detach from the shell completely and that's not a good thing but back let's see here now there's a big one there's a nice black one let's get him yeah, I got you, guy. Here we go. Here's the final snail of our selections. And in you go, guy. In you go. Oops, and it looks like, whoopsie daisy. Uh, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Um, I'm not sure if that is a... Uh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, there it is. A there was a hitchhiker there. A little ram's horn snail. I'm gonna drop him in here. Go ahead. Okay, so let's go over to the table now. We'll take a look from the top. This will give him a little room to move around in here. I will uh, click it here and come back with the uh, paper towel to place over the top, and we'll continue on. If I can only press the button here. There we go. Okay, here we are back at the table. And I'm going to gently 
take a look at the snails here before I do it. They're looking good. Let's uh, put this thin, damp towel over the top. Not gonna squeeze it down on them, just let, draping it over the top of them, just to keep them nice and uh, comfortable. Okay, there's that portion. And then I have the top, which I set down where? Let me go find that, guys. I'll be I right set back. it between the tanks over there. <laughs> I was so uh, engrossed in uh, selecting the snails that I forgot about that. So here we are. I'm going to close this up. Make sure it's all uh, snapped around. Let me uh, have a seat here and do this. So I... There we go. That one. Going around. Make sure it's all nice and secure. Okay, it is. Okay. Now for the newspaper. Alrighty, so let's get the newspaper in the box and get these guys ready to roll here. So I'm gonna take some newspaper. Doesn't have to be a whole lot really, just uh, enough to make a nice cushion on the bottom here. Just to make sure everything's uh, fairly snug and secure for these snails so they don't get bumped around too much during the shipping process. Okay, get these guys in here nice and gently. There we are. Of course, you know, when they get to the shipping, they're out of my hands, but we'll see if they'll be fine, I'm sure. Now I'm gonna put a couple um, more pieces here. I don't wanna block too much of the ventilation. I'm gonna put some along the sides also to keep it from moving around. And uh, Side there, put one on the other side as well. It's pretty snug front to back, so we're good there. And there we go. All right. So now the next process is getting the ice pack, which is up in the freezer. I'm going to go grab that and uh, I'll show you. I'm going to wrap it up, put it in the box, and you know, I'm going to get everything taped up and ready to roll and then we're going to ship it out so um pretty excited about this guys and i hope you enjoy them and i'll see you in just a moment i'll be right back oh i needed that all righty so we got this uh it's called an enviro ice i'm sure you've seen this before but it's a nice, big, very solid uh, gel ice. It's nitrogen-based. Um, and uh, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up with a little bit of paper, newspaper, okay? Just to melt, it'll start, it'll sweat some. I want it to absorb it. So let's bring the box over here. So we got the newspaper on top there, and then here, just gotta press it down a little bit, making sure that there's still room for the ventilation, which there is. This will help these guys to stay nice and cool on the on their trip. And then here we go with the top, and when it's taped down, it'll keep it snug on there. So there's that. Um, put this little special note. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get it taped up. I certainly think my shutter bug is running because if it isn't, we're not going to have this footage. been working okay so far. I've only had to do it. Okay. Nice. There we go. And just checking it there. And now the next step I do is the, uh, oops.
Gotta do the live fish, even though it's not fish. Um, I'm not gonna use that one because it's kind of messed up a little bit, so. Like this one though. on here so that they will hopefully be a little uh, a little gentle with these guys. I always tend to worry a little bit because you hear stories about them when they see uh, something's alive. You know, you never know who's going to be the type of person it is, but you know, we got to have some kind of trust in the world. Otherwise, it's not a very good place to live then, right? So we'll do what we can to ensure that they are cared for on their journey. I know they're gonna be cared for when they reach their destination because that's who Jack and Dan are. They're fantastic. And watching their pets and their uh, aquatic hobby and everything, you know that they're, they've got experience under their belt big time. So there we go, guys. We are labeled up all four sides. And we are on the way now. I probably won't be showing anything after this, so this is going to be it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the process of doing this. Hope it wasn't too long and boring for you. I know I got kind of a monotone tone voice, and I could probably be quite boring, but um, uh, yeah, I'll improve, hopefully. <laughs> so you guys uh, enjoy the snails, and... I will see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and uh, so glad you're here. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.